guys, Derek here. So I was approached by uh, King Rue filament makers and they've asked me to have a look at their filament and give you uh, an overall of how it is. It's like it's, uh, very hot today. So anyway, I've got the box today. And I'm just going to open it up. So, comes very well packaged, very, as always, let's have a quick look at this, so we've got King Rune, it's got a QR code so you can share your print with them as well, 195 to 210 and 60 to 80 on the bed, um, PLA, 1 kilo, it's white, let's get printing. One day later. Hey guys, uh, so it's been a few days. Uh, so I've done a few prints from the P1P printer in the background. All I've done was load up the filament into the AMS unit. Uh, it took it in straight away. You just have to set it up in the AMS uh, software where it's a white PLA and put your settings in so it knows the pressure advance and all that details and jazz as they say um, right okay so once i've done that i then picked out a few files uh, which i wanted to try obviously you got the benchy so this benchy here let me move that out of the way this benchy here was printed on from the um sd card off the bamboo so it was the 20 minute Benji, or well, it was under 20 minutes, and uh, top layers absolutely fine. There's a little bit of whisper, whispery, but let me see if you can see that. Look at me, look at the Benji. So there is a line there, like an indent. Not too sure what caused that, um, because all the other prints I've been getting off the printer has been fantastic. So I'm not too sure what caused that. Um, but then I re-sliced the benchy. This is a, a 40 minute benchy uh, with like normal settings, so it's been slowed down, and the line. Is still there it's like an indent not too sure um, it might be the file but then again I've printed several benches with that same file and all seems to be fine so I've also printed off a little tiny Marvin this came out absolutely flawless there uh, is a tiny whisper on the little keychain part where you put the keychain in and all the sort of bridging and effects are all spot on. Can't see anything wrong with that one. I then done a vase. Uh, or a vase, depending on whereabouts you are in the world. Um, this uh, was the low poly vase. This came out absolutely fantastic. No issues here. In vase mode. Very nice. It is. Um, there's no no holes or anything in that uh, vase. Absolutely fine. And then here is the uh, Alinda Dragon or the Aria Dragon. I can't remember which one it is. Now I'm just having a, a bit of a closer look at this underneath the light. There is wisps, but then again, like I said, I haven't done anything too 
the profile that I normally use. I haven't done anything but let's have a closer look at this and the quality is spot on again there's obviously a few wisps there but obviously that could be a temperature setting but once again see the wisps Everything else looks absolutely flawless. You can even see like the teeth as well on the dragon. You, the detail, it's caught all the details. There's a little tiny overhang issue here. I mean, like I said, it could be a, a temperature thing. Uh, I, I, most of my prints come out at 220 on the bamboo, uh, most of my prints, but this might have needed a little bit less on that. It might have been 210, 210 might have sorted it out. But that is another spot on dragon. So, King Roo, I would say I've knocked it out of the ballpark on this one. Um, the All the links will be down below where I got it from. It is a very nice filament. It fits in the AMS, no worries. Well, I've got a little uh, wedge part on my AMS, so I can put any roll in there now without changing it too much and as people say it just works um it's a good yeah i, I haven't tried any sort of lipophanes with it or anything like that um but i am guessing it'll be the same as all these prints they've just come out absolutely fantastic um all the links will be down below um and what can i say it works it's a it's i'm going to give this a go and put some water in it as well just to make sure that it is watertight and be yourselves i've got some more um videos coming out reference to the bamboo behind me um I have been putting some short uh, YouTube videos up reference to my Iron Man, which I now do not have. Um, that has been, that's gone on to someone else. <laughs> and they are, uh, to my knowledge, liking it very much. Um, and that was all done on the bamboo as well. Like I said, Kingaroo knocked it out of the park. Um, give it a go. I'll leave a link down below. Um, I'm not going to get anything from it, but uh, give them a go. It's, it is a nice filament. I'm going to obviously get some different colours and hopefully get some different prints out with some more of their filament. Um, I will add a couple of the, um, the time lapses uh, just at the end and then yeah. Be yourselves. See you later. Bye.